My name is Julius Hollingsworth. I'm a community activist and a journeyman in the entertainment business for over 50 years, as well as an Emmy recipient for my contribution as an actor to the ABC TV special, To Be a Man. And hello, I'm Jack Shalom. I'm a radio host heard weekly on WBAI FM New York City uh, and Pacifica stations across the country. And Julius and I are both so happy to get this opportunity to talk to you about something we think is very important. We're coming before you to ask for two things. For the city to declare June 29th as Lloyd Richards Day, and for the council to co-name the corner of 47th Street and Broadway in Manhattan as Lloyd Richards Way. But it's not just the two of us who come before you. We're part of the Committee to Celebrate Lloyd Richards, which includes Emmy Award-winning star of stage, screen, and television, Kate Burton, uh, Richard Burton's daughter, and the award-winning actress and activist, Taria Joseph, who also happens to be the mother of musician Alicia Keys. Uh, the committee is also including Tony Award-winning actor and director Ruben Santiago Hudson, Drama Desk Award-winning actor Stephen uh, McKinley Henderson, Emmy Award winner and NAACP Image Award winner Essie Patha Murkison and Glenn Terman, Emmy Award winner and one of the original cast members of A Raisin in the Sun. In addition, in a very short time, the Celebrating Lloyd Richards page 6.29 on Facebook garnered over 400 members. So you have to ask, why have all these people gathered around the cause of honoring Lloyd Richards, who's a name that you may not even know? And that's because Broadway you know, is the beating heart of New York City. And the beating heart of Broadway is a man named Lloyd Richards. Now, you may not know Lloyd Richards' name, and that's okay, but that's all the more reason his name must be remembered. There are too many heroes whose names have been forgotten, and we have to take the opportunity to make sure that one of New York City's most important cultural heroes is not forgotten. The man's reach and influence was even after his death, absolutely mind-boggling. When back in their struggling days, when, when Lloyd Richards and his friend Sidney Poitier had to pull their chains to split a hot dog to eat, they may not have realized that it was just a matter of time before Richards would be directing Poitier in a groundbreaking Broadway production, Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun. Lloyd had come to New York City shortly after a stint in the armed services during World War II in what will become the Tuskegee Airmen. He stayed at the YMCA on 135th Street, where Langston Hughes had stayed. Um, but soon he was starring on Broadway as an actor and becoming even more well-known as a consummate acting teacher. Yes, the unknown Sidney Poitier and Ruby D and Ozzie Davis were among some of his early acting students. And in 1959, he directed the legendary production, A Raisin in the Sun at the Ethel Barrymore Theater on Broadway, a groundbreaking production where almost every member of the cast became stars. And in the process, Lloyd Richards became the first African-American director to direct a drama on Broadway. But that was just the beginning of Lloyd Richards' influence. He was artistic director for decades at the Eugene O'Neill Theater's National Playwrights Conference. And in that uh, capacity, Mr. Richards brought dozens of budding playwrights to the attention of Broadway producers, nurturing playwrights in a workshop environment. And the results were very impressive. Among many others, playwrights that came out of the O'Neill and landed on Broadway and gave work to hundreds of workers on Broadway. Uh, there were playwrights like John Guare, Lanford Wilson, David Henry Huang, Christopher Durang, Wendy Wasserstein, Lee Blessing, among many others, all as a direct result of Lloyd Richards' efforts. But perhaps the most famous playwright that Lloyd Richards discovered was August Wilson, whose work has now been brought both to Broadway and the movie screen. In, in 1987, the great James Earl Jones starred in August Wilson's play Fences. And 
Uh, Lloyd Richards won the Tony Award for Best Director of a Play for his direction of that play. Lloyd subsequently directed five more Wilson's works on Broadway. But we're not finished yet, as they say. Uh, all that would have been sufficient for any single person or dozen people. But also as dean of the Yale Drama School, as professor of theater at Hunter College in NYU, as teacher at the Acting School of the Negro Ensemble Company and his own studio, Lloyd Richards trained hundreds and hundreds of actors, including Angela Bassett, Courtney Vance, Cicely Tyson, Stephen McKinley Henderson, Kate Burton, and, and hundreds and hundreds more. Now, it's not that we're coming to you because Lloyd Richards had not been previously honored. In fact, President Clinton awarded Mr. Richards the National Medal of the Arts. And yet, and yet, <laughs> the city of New York has yet to officially honor this man who has given so much to the cultural and economic life of the city. So it's time to correct that oversight. Lloyd Richards was not a man to tout his own accomplishments. His way was to stay in the background while giving others the resources that will allow them to fly. But future generations of New Yorkers need to know and remember his name, or as we all know too well, the names of our great heroes, icons, can become lost to us. You can point to almost any person in the New York City theater community today and trace back the threads with only a few degrees of separation that inevitably lead back to Lloyd in one way or another. So let's get down to brass tacks. Here's, here's our ask. And here's what we're proposing. We're proposing and asking for two things to help amplify Lloyd's accomplishments for future generations in New York City. One, that the city declared June 29th as Lloyd Richards Day. We asked for that particular date as that is the date on which Lloyd Richards was born. And it is also the date that he passed 87 years later. That is why there is such an urgency to, to get this done soon. I mean, we wish to embrace the legacy of his creativity and diversity in this time of fragmentation, to continue the lessons he imbued in his students and colleagues for future generations of New Yorkers and get it done in time for the June 29th celebration. And second, we're asking that the corner of 47th Street and Broadway in Manhattan be co-named Lloyd Richards Way. And was asking that because that's the street that housed the Ethel Barrymore Theater where Lloyd Richards directed A Raisin in the Sun. And that momentous occasion, ushered in by Lloyd, began a whole new era in our city. And then... Lloyd Richards spent the rest of his life creating safe places and work opportunities for theater artists of all races and ethnicities. Attention and honor must be paid by Broadway and the city of New York to Lloyd Richards. Dear council members, you have the power to accomplish this. We start a ball rolling that has gathered more and more momentum. We began with Lloyd Richards' legacy, and that has inspired some of the finest theater artists in the country to take up the banner. And we need you to keep moving that ball forward and get it over the finish line in time for a June 29th celebration. You are the custodians of the moment. Please join us. Make this happen. Give honor to Lloyd Richards, who has brought so much honor to this city. <laughs> 